Hey Queens. Today's video. <laughs> today's video is gonna be so informal. I'm coming to you guys with my life update. But in the process, we're gonna actually be taking down my hair. I just put in about eight flat twists and then put some prime rods on the end to see if you know give me some more definition but as i just stated this is going to be my life update video i have not done a life update video in forever so i just feel that life update videos are you know necessary you know but on an as needed basis especially when you're very active you know on your social media platforms like i am and you guys know i'm prominently on here on my youtube platform as well as my instagram so you guys have seen a lot transpire since the beginning of 2017 but i have not really brought you guys up to speed i'm simply just going to start pretty much from the beginning so um as far as like my life you guys i've been doing really really well you know right now i'm currently not working in corporate america right now unfortunately i was let go <laughs> unfortunately i mean i'm just gonna be real with you guys i was unfortunately let go you know and you know honestly i feel like it was a blessing in disguise i know a lot of people you know would be like well queen what the fuck you mean you got let go of your job and you got fired or whatever and it's like you know when you know that you're capable of your job and you know that you're coming from a sincere place and you know that you are very authentic and you know that you're not going to jeopardize you know your morals your beliefs you know it's not worth it to me it's not worth the job it's not worth the career it's just not worth my happiness my sanity so with all that being said yes i do not work where i was working previously because a lot of you guys are familiar with the kind of work that i was doing or whatever but i am not saddened by it i have not been depressed thank god graciously thank you jesus i have not been depressed i did experience some anxiety at first you know but it all worked out in itself you know i'm able to still take care of myself i'm able to still you know take care of my necessities you know and god always still makes a way so i have not been working for like two months now it's coming up on two months and honestly i'm happy I'm not sad, I'm not worried. I feel like I'm flourishing more on my Queen She Me platform. I feel like my brand is growing. Um, I am working on getting my, you know, you know, getting my um, fan base up, you know, because I want to be able to reach more women, but I'm just learned over like the last month and a half, two months, some new ways that I think I'm going to incorporate in being able to reach out to you ladies, as well as going into 2018. So I do have plans going into 2018. And those plans, of course, I'm going to have to be planning. So those are long-term goals. But current goals right now, I want to be able to help grow our community here. So that way we can be able to reach other young women who are looking for ways to create self-love. You know, to love themselves, their natural hair. And just wherever they are on their own life journey. That is what queen she me my brand my business that is what i am standing for women empowerment so you guys i am asking you to help me so help us so that we can help our community to grow as well as you know creating new and fresh content here on our platform because i mean even though it is my platform it's you guys platform as well because i create the content that you guys like and i know a lot of you guys come to me for natural hair tips a lot of you say my personality which is so sweet thank you so much because i know i can be a hoop a lot of times as well as you know cooking lifestyle and just other reasons as well so i just really want to just say thank you just genuinely from the bottom of my heart you guys you guys just really and truly do not understand i love each and every one of you i do have some form of a connection with all of you guys even when you reach out to me over on instagram if you guys really want to get to know me more over there definitely go over to instagram because I'm just able to just respond quicker over that way in a DM or a comment. And I just really love you guys. You guys are like my best friends, my curl friends, my internet besties. You know, even though in my real life, you know, I only really do and truly have like a really close few friends. I really can only count them on one hand, you guys. So I'm not one to really be how I was before growing up. I was very rambunctious you know not saying i'm not in certain aspects of my life you know but i'm still very much so outgoing you know and a um forward thinking person and i just feel that you know when you come to terms with your life your personality and who you truly are you know within and not just on the outer shell you know you start to shed away a lot of things that you don't necessarily need in your life so 
as far as 2017 you guys yes it has been a lot of changes a lot of things have changed in my life a lot of people you know not saying people have changed and flaked on me but you know just growing you know getting to know more people putting myself out there in 2017 for me has just really been about pushing forward and growing even more in my purpose and going into 2017 was rough for us i know it was rough for me um we lost loved ones this year you know um we lost um our uncle and um on my mom's birthday on um, the day after christmas and then um going into the new year you know with that you know so it's kind of been you know for my family you know my extended family with me and alexa's family you know it's been a lot for us this year i've been involved in three car accidents which none were my fault um the first one we were downtown guy just simply ran stop sign and clipped us second one um i wasn't in the car but i was at work someone hit the car and the third one i got hit by an actual sanitation vehicle so it's just crazy because you know a lot of times stuff will happen and then you'll be thinking like oh my god was well, it me you know or or am i just going crazy you know you start realizing that you know god a lot of times will send messages to you in random ways the weirdest ways ever and every time that all three of those accidents happened were by my job and honestly i was getting to a place where i was wanting to grow wanting to you know just advance my knowledge you know and everything like that and it wasn't happening i was just just feeling i was becoming stagnant where i was but in my personal life with here with my brand queen she me it was steadily and slowly growing and it still is even though my following even though i don't have a lot of subscribers here that's really not what is my goal my goal is the the followers will come my goal for my platform is to just genuinely reach out to young women you know who are my age you know or even older or younger you know to just be a positive influence to just empower people to love who they are and to truly and just walk in their truth just simply this this is really what my platform is at this point even though yes it is natural hair and i still do primarily put out a lot of natural hair videos i am slowly but surely transitioning into other content that are really so that really benefit my soul my creativity you know and i also have to keep in mind too with you guys as well as the content that you want you know for me to put out because it because exactly that's why you guys are following me so i'm sitting up here rambling and not taking down my hair so let's just start taking down my hair you guys so um i did use the curl cream activator you guys and yeah that's why i really don't worry about using perm rods on my ends because they just really don't seem to do much for my twist they just seem i don't know they just seem to just do something funky to them i don't know but either way still taking them down so currently um i'm not working well i am working on my brand i'm working on just making it work with my brand with just building my community here queen she me I am working in the process of a blog. I do have one, but I'm working on it to get it to, you know, where I would like it to be. Um, on top of that, you guys have also noticed too, like my layout on Instagram has changed a little bit, but not much. Um, I was just really just trying to make it more clean, I guess you should say, and I'm still experimenting with it. But um, you guys let me know, you know, if you like the layout over there on my Instagram or if I should just go back to just posting like I was before. If you guys just like all the posts just being together. Um, what else has happened um, besides me losing my job? Um, well, you guys also know, too, that we lost our aunt to um, breast cancer. She has stage four breast cancer. And you guys know it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. She... Um, had stage four breast cancer and um you guys it's been a little it's been a little tough you know it's been tough for me but you know it's just been tough you know more so you know for alexa and just trying to be a positive support system um i know someone reached out to me and asked me to do a video and i still will do the video but i just have to get my thoughts together for it but honestly you guys you know i just thank you guys for your prayers you know your love and support you know you guys have just always just been very loving and supporting um and anything here on my platform so i just thank you guys so much for that and so yeah so with it being october and breast cancer awareness month i really want to push content out to just bring awareness on health 
you know wellness because a lot of times um you know we don't pay attention to what is happening within us you know or sometimes we know something is going on but we're afraid to know what the answer may be so we just rather not know so we just don't do anything about it so i want to bring awareness to that this month it's just it just struck me before getting into october and i'm going to do it so if you have any videos that you would like want me to touch on as far as like women's wellness or health even feminine hygiene um, because I am a stickler for hygiene, believe it or not, you guys, I mean, everyone should be, but I am really, like, a phobia, like, when it comes to, like, my hygiene, like, I really, I don't play games when it comes to that, like, hell no. And I feel like, because that's your body, this is your temple, I mean, so you have to take care of yourself. So, I'm liking this, even though my hair isn't, like, fully dry. That'll work, though, for today. You guys, when I first moved back here in 2010, <laughs> at something thing, in 2010, I was not in a good place. I was not in a positive place. Um, I was very depressed, very much so. I mean, very depressed. I was drinking myself, pretty much just drinking myself to death, you know, and drinking doesn't solve anything. It doesn't help anything. So now looking at retrospect and where i am now in 2017 and you know unfortunately i lost you know my job you know not you guys i like the work that i did it's just sometimes the environment can just be a little loco and it's just like you know after a while it's just like you know you're doing all that you can it's just like how much more can you do you know so after a while you just have to accept that you know sometimes it's not you it's just sometimes it's just time for you to move on and like right now i have been so happy i feel like my content has been a lot better i feel i feel because i have more time to dedicate to my platform my business to queen she mean i have more time now to dedicate to you guys and to create the content that you guys would like for me to put out so that way now i can just put all of my focus into that to really get it off the ground to really you know in the sense make it a profitable business because right now i do generate a little something but i know i could be doing more but again youtube for me initially has never been about the money and it still isn't to this day it honestly with the content that i put out we're all doing the same thing which can be at times you know um intimidating i must say because one i'm a small youtuber and sometimes it's still easy for me even though i've been on youtube now going on for three years maybe four years now and to see how new youtubers or influencers come about and they just skyrocket and i'm just like oh my god i'm just like well damn bitch i'm just like you know not hating but it's just like wow it's just like you know it's just times to change and so it's like now you just really have to just you know in a sense stay true to you you know and not get caught in trying to do all of the trends or all of the latest how-to videos or whatever because you know so many people are pushing out so much stuff but you have to remember too you know that somebody likes your content as well so i guess that's why i still put out the videos that i like to put out because at the end of the day we're all still doing the same thing but it's just different and we're all different people we're all individuals you know so no one person is the same so i just feel that my time is coming and i know that i'm going to be in a place where I'm going to be able to really be able to put my craft, my creativity, my passion into a bigger light, you know, and a lot of times, you know, I do internalize that fear and I don't, it's not necessarily a fear, but well, it is a fear, but I guess now talking about it aloud, it's an internalized fear. I guess an internalized fear of the unknown or how would I do being in a, on a larger platform, you know, I, I, you know, I just don't want to change. I just always want to strive to just remaining as authentic as possible. And I just think that that's why you guys follow me because I'm just down to earth. I'm just me. And I just try to come on here and just be who i am i don't try to come on here and do too much or be extra you know i just try to come on here and just share what are my favorites and what works for me and you know in the meantime too i mean in the process too putting out 
content that you guys like and enjoy so it's like we're all benefiting from it in some way shape or form but when you're growing you know you're wanting to grow your brand you know that i think that is something that people think about you know is you know they're wanting to remain as authentic as possible they don't want to lose their originality i should say and that's just me i don't want to change you know not saying i don't want to grow lord knows i love to grow as a person that's that's just the most benefiting thing ever but it is a fear though you know because to get out and to be you know advocating yourself and stuff like that it's all new and it's all like a learning experience i've gotten to a place too now where i'm more open to people's opinions to people's um ideas you know or their recommendations i should say because you maybe about five years ago yeah i probably would be so close-minded i probably was just like okay well i hear you but i'm still gonna do what i want to do but now i'm in a place where it's like i hear you i'm listening to you and i'm actually taking in what you're saying to me and yes i might necessarily apply it to you know what i am currently doing um alexa at times she always gives me you know good pointers and tips you know on you know how to create my content or some video styles and stuff like that even though i am a talker i'm very detail oriented and i love to make sure that I give you guys as much information as possible but right now with our time and day and age no one wants to sit there and watch a long video everyone likes a quick hot pocket video get to the point in and out blah blah blah, blah done but to me i feel you lose the personable part of it i feel you lose you know being able to sit down and communicate with your audience and to just really just be who you are and to actually present the content in your own style because you see now a lot of influencers they do a lot of short vids or they just do a lot of different things you know and a lot of times you can get caught up in trying to do all those things and then eventually it's like you get lost and wanting to figure out you know well what is it i want to do for my platform because they're so busy looking at everybody else expand grow you know and stuff like that and looking at the competition you know and it's easy to get lost in all that and to simply compare yourself to people because lord knows i am guilty of that it is so easy to you know be looking at people's pages you know or content or something and simply just be like damn like i wish my stuff looked like that or i wish you know i had x amount of followers or damn like i posted this video i worked on it for like two days you know filmed and did this and that and it didn't come out you know the end result isn't necessarily what you thought it would be so with youtube i feel it presents a challenge and i think it's a good challenge because especially when you're creative and you like to you know you like a good challenge because a lot of times a challenge for me just pushes me forward it just makes me want to just try to just achieve it even more so with me losing my job it wasn't like a slap in the face it wasn't like oh god what the fuck am i gonna do how am i gonna pay my bills you know stuff like this how i'm gonna be able to eat and stuff like this it was just a simple fact was i got my happiness back i got my happiness back i'm able to do what i love to do i'm able to film i'm able to write i'm able to meditate i'm able to do what i need to do from my heart from my spirit and not feel like shit because a lot of times people will be like well oh man you're unemployed so now you're not doing anything with your life well i feel like i am doing something with my life because i feel like my platform helps so many of these young women who decide to come onto my platform to simply click my video and to watch it for however long they so decide and to me i feel that is so rewarding because for me to be able to put some kind of positivity or some light into someone's life where there may be darkness or whatever the case may be that to me is the reward and that's what's so fulfilling for me because sometimes with me and my personality with me being a Taurus, i'm so strong-headed i mean you know strong-minded you know and i just get so set in my ways and it's and it's i mean it's just it's just part of my nature you get set in your ways you get used to a certain routine or doing things a certain way you know sometimes you can cut your blessings off that way too by not you know trying to try something an alternative way even though you know that this process here has worked time and time again but maybe this process is a little bit more better and improved and maybe it will cut down on your time as well in what you're actually trying to do so you guys i have just been learning a lot in 2017 i've been coming more you know into 
who I am, my spirit man, just getting closer to God, just praying more, meditating, just cutting off a lot of the negative bullshit that I don't want in my life anymore. Like, seriously, I've been just slowly, and it's just been like happening on its own in a sense, too. It's not like I'm like, oh, I'm cutting you off, clerk. Like, no, it's not anything like that. It's just sometimes God will remove people from out of your lives you know without you even realizing it without you even having to do the work and i know as today as i'm filming now on the aries full moon you guys and it's just such a beautiful day outside it's just so gorgeous you know it's just i just have to thank god i mean honestly you guys i mean i cannot complain i'm so happy i'm happy with where i am in my life i'm happy with my relationship i mean you guys are probably like oh well, what about you and alexa we're doing fine um we're coming up on seven years in november i'm like damn you know like where does the time go like seven years you guys like that's my baby um as far as like school now i was thinking about possibly going back to school in 2018 but we'll see how it works out and stuff like that and if i do decide to go back to school it is going to be for something in something where i can just put all of my creativity into it where it can be a creative channel as well as something where i feel will be benefiting to my soul because I'm not saying that what I went to school for and what I got my degree in is not benefiting because believe me, it is very benefiting on a lot of skills. You okay? Like I just thank God I did go into what I did go into because it's it's something where I am able to just get right right back out there into the work field. So I'm very appreciative of that. Thank you, Jesus. But I just feel that right now with not working, this is just giving me the fire, the stamina, the drive the just 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 to just push forward to just do it to just do it and i got my business cards and it just really did something for me when i just saw them in the flesh in front of me and i'm just like wow i was just like this is me i was like this is my brand this is my baby and i'm going to be putting out merchandise i want to put out you know maybe like some cups you know or like some t-shirts or something like that with like some inspirational words what else has happened you guys besides my youtube and my instagram has been growing steadily um i have been putting out new content for you guys i am doing more beauty reviews because you guys believe it or not i am a beauty junkie i just don't share a lot of it because it's just so saturated right now on social media and on youtube especially with doing beauty content but I'm not going to let that keep discouraging me anymore. So I am going to continue putting out beauty content, including skincare, as well as um, facial stuff and makeup as well. And I also too want to do more cooking videos as far as lifestyle, um, because you guys know that pretty much like my lifestyle has changed a lot. Um, I drink water so much as you guys just saw. Um, I very rarely drink alcohol. If I drink alcohol, it's usually if I'm like out somewhere. But to drink alcohol in the house is very rare. Like I had one glass of sangria last night. And I kid you guys not, I get so buzzed off of drinking. Like it just feels like it just goes right to my kidneys. Like literally. As far as my eating, you guys, you know, I'm pretty much like pescatarian lifestyle still. I do still eat some chicken you know but more so seafood you guys and oh my gosh like this past weekend when we was in panama city beach yeah if you guys didn't notice i was like kind of mia off of social media and we went to panama city beach and we went to um dave and busters that's our second time being to dave and busters the first time we went in orlando two years ago and um oh my gosh i ate so good the whole time like we were there and i have just been learning too that giving yourself that tlc and just putting that in somewhere in your day makes a tremendous difference in your life i kid you not like since i have not now if i don't get to do my yoga on a daily basis i try to do it every day and this week i have actually been doing it every day so this is day four that i have done it in a row so thank god and i'm feeling really good but just simply just by just giving yourself a, a safe space or just giving yourself that time out to just nurture yourself like if it's reading a book like you guys know i have been reading books like crazy this year so that was one of my goals to read more books and i have been reading books like crazy so if you're wanting to know like what books i've been reading um this year i can definitely come to you guys in the video because i am a bookworm i've always been a bookworm i mean it's a lot to me you guys and i'm wanting to 
actually just get it out there to you guys because I just feel like it's just so much I can just be giving to you guys and I just feel like I have not been doing it and I just feel like it's my fault and so now I'm in a place where I want to do that I want to just give you guys all of me and hopefully you guys love it because I'm telling you I really am like a lifestyle person I love candles reading meditating music art like art especially any anything that like ugh, anything creative just really just gets me just going with losing my job it was just kind of like that push that I need to just really and truly believe in myself because I started my boutique like two years ago but I have not put anything in my shop and I think it was just because I was really doubting myself and I think it was after I got all of my legal stuff taken care of <clears throat> and was actually set to go I was just kind of like oh wow you really did that you know and that was one of those big dreams that I had was to you know kind of like create like a small shop um initially i wanted to do thrifting but then i just wanted to just kind of change it into something else and i think that's why it became stagnant so the idea was actually working you know i was actually in process and was getting stuff done but i got to a place where i was just like okay now what so now i'm in a better place to where like now i know what i want now i know what i want to do i know i want to start getting you guys more stuff i've been highlighting the negative stuff it's been you know positive stuff going on too i mean i've been traveling more this year um especially with me going to hair conventions like that was like a big push for me it really was and it started when i went to the mississippi natural hair expo hey kim and um when i met kim and i realized how young she was because i didn't realize how young she was until i started following her on instagram and i was like oh my god I was like we're the same age and she did all of this i was just like why the hell can i not be doing something like this so ever since i went to that expo and just saw how how it was it was just it was just such a good time i really did enjoy myself you guys i mean it was really 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 nice and i see why like now a lot of people like what they do even if you like beauty lifestyle natural hair whatever your niche may necessarily be um i see why people are so happy because that's what they love that's their passion that's what makes them get up every morning and just puts those feet down to the pavement and just get to the grind and i just feel that ever since starting to travel more and put myself out there more and just believing in myself more it has really done something to my spirit and i'm not going to say my ego because my ego i have really been working hard on that and just trying not to just snap go off well i'm right you're wrong attitude all this other kind of bullshit like i have really just been trying to work on myself and just get me together because there's no way in hell i can give you guys any kind of damn advice or anything if i have fucked up shit going on within myself so 2017 has been a lot of self-reflection a lot of things that i have not been wanting to face head on my fears and my doubts i have had to and believe me i have had my moments in crying and shit like that you know but once you recognize it and you cleanse yourself of it and you release yourself of it it's just like the it's just like the world is just open to endless possibilities like literally and that's just what i've been feeling and so and saying all that you guys with traveling you know more going to the natural hair expo when we went to new orleans this summer i went to the new orleans natural hair expo i met some of my favorite influencers and that that did something for me that to see them in their light to see them in their passion to see them in their creativity to see them in their natural habitat i should say um was just so inspiring so inspirational that i kid you not that's when i started noticing the difference on my channel the difference in my platform the difference in how you guys were reacting to what i was putting out i even started noticing in my videos how happy i was it's like it was like the more i started creating the more i started believing in myself the more i just started doing what i love and just stop second guessing myself it has just really opened up more of my creative side i should say and it's just, just been so fucking good i kid you not it has been such an amazing feeling and i have you guys to thank for that i have god to thank for that thank you jesus i have my mother i have my loving family i have my girlfriend and i have my amazing girlfriends to thank you guys because all of you 
helped me to be who I am and in a sense helped me to find that creative side that I am always trying to make sure it stays lit inside of me and I mean even as a little girl I have always been real creative I've always been real artistic painting drawing singing dancing like you name it I've always been doing it like I'm literally like a walking radio like I can hear a song and just start fucking singing it like literally because that's just how in tune I am with who I am because I know who I am I'm happy in who I am it's so much more than just coming on and showing a product and reviewing this and showing you how to do this hairstyle or that hairstyle and yada 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 it's more really trying to become more personable with your audience you know and your community as well so um, with all that being said, Queens is 2017 has really been good to me. In addition to me even being able to really focus on my content, like now I have like my little workspace, you know, I got it all going on. Like I actually have somewhere, a creative space where I can just come and just zone out and just and just give you guys what it is that you guys are wanting and also the content that i'm wanting to put out as well i know i will be doing more cooking videos i know a lot of you guys are like okay queen you keep talking about these damn cooking videos but we ain't seen no cooking videos i know you guys um we moved you know during the summer too because we had a house fire as well so y'all it's been a lot going on this year so yeah then we had the three car accidents and then we went on the trip to new orleans and had a good time there and that just really just sparked a new love for what i did during that trip <coughs> and then when i came back um we had the house fire like literally like a month later and it was just a blessing that we were both at the house and we were in the other we was in the other apartment and we just so happened to be in the bedroom when I was doing Alexa's hair. And I know that we had cooked something and I had an incense burn because you guys know I always burn incense. You gotta get that bad juju out of here. And um yeah, and so we was like, well, what the hell is that smell? I was like, what is that? And girl, it was the fucking AC unit. It had not sparked the fire and it had legit just started when I had walked out the bedroom to go and check the kitchen to see if it was something on in the oven. Took care of that, you know, was able to move and everything. And the great part was we didn't lose anything. Nothing was smoked out because thank God we caught it as soon as it started. I mean, we opened a little door and it was just like sparking. I was like, oh my God. And I just let loose with the fire extinguisher so our stuff was covered with all that crap for like weeks you know we was just still cleaning up places trying to get all that stuff or that debris from the fire extinguisher residue so then yeah so then we wound up moving to where i where we are now and um i have been loving it you guys i really do like where we stay um i feel that this apartment is bigger than the one that we were currently in for whatever reason the layout is a lot different the porches are bigger which i'm appreciative of in the bathroom and to me the bed everything just seems bigger on this i don't know i don't know but i'm loving where we are when we moved into our apartment it really was like a fresh start um a fresh start in just you know um terms and creativity terms of me wanting to just put myself out there more pretty much in a sense as an entrepreneur um, me just growing better in my relationship with Alexa and even with my, my mom, you know, just growing closer with her. <clears throat> and around the time that um, we moved into this apartment, you guys, was around the same time that it was getting close to me with leaving that job. And I could sense something was coming and I knew God was preparing me for it because I had already been praying for him to, you know, to prepare me for me leaving and moving on to something better, you know. And it just happened the way it happened i was just like all right well i'm not mad honey like i thank y'all so much now i can go and do what i really want to do and be truly happy in my natural habitat i should say so y'all i'm telling you like a lot of times life will throw you multiple curveballs but you don't have to let them get you you know sidetracked get you down in the gutter like no life is all about learning that a lot of times our reactions is what causes our you know problems because if you react to stuff negatively if you treat people negatively or if you're coming from a place of you know um just not niceness i should say then yeah your life is gonna be so fucking chaotic and <clears throat> even the environment that you subject yourself to so like when i was working like 
I just always felt tired. I always felt, ugh. I just always felt when I filmed, it was night, not 100%. I didn't feel like I was giving you guys my best. I didn't feel, in a sense, happy, you know. And now I just feel so free, so creative to be me. Um, you know, I will eventually go back to work, I think. But right now, I really want to try and just get my brand growing. I really just want to strive for that. You know, and I just feel now I have all the time in the world to do so. So, you guys, I mean, my life update, yes, yeah, kind of like all over the place. But I'm telling you, it really has just been a lot of, you know, just life lessons and just learning from them and just learning to you know that not everything that happens is bad you know a lot of times that's your diamond in the rough like literally it really is because when we lost our car like we really did upgrade to something better because babe had been praying for a truck for the longest and what did he bless her with a truck even though yes it came by way of us having multiple car accidents but that was the way that the blessing came so i just thank god i mean i just thank god that i'm alive i mean damn i'm glad we alive because we could have been dead in those car accidents you know what i'm saying so you have to look at things in a different light you have to try to look at things from a different perspective you guys you just cannot remain closed-minded and if you're afraid of doing something or if it's something that you've been wanting to do or you feel like you don't have the time for it or if you're working full-time and you're like me you know like i was at the time you know working full-time but then trying to get my little get my side hustle like to to really take off so you don't have to do this full-time job then just keep doing what you're doing. Keep working towards your dreams. Keep working towards your goals. Because God knows I am. I'm not where I want to be. But damn it, I know I can get there. And I'm going to strive my darndest to get there. And I know that with God, I can do it. And I just feel that, you know, with all of you guys' love and support, it has just really been really helpful as well. And that's why I just couldn't really come to you guys with a life update. Because really the only thing I had to tell you guys was just like, I lost my job now I'm full time doing my business my brand queen she me and i'm just been working on trying to get it to really just grow and that's really what i've been doing you guys i've been spending so much time with my family my loved ones i feel like i'm in a happier place i don't feel like i have all this mind clutter all this bullshit surrounding me all this negative energy and i just feel that god has really just brought me to a more enlightened place a more enlightened place i just feel like he is bringing me closer and closer into my purpose and you know a lot of people say well what's your life purpose what's your life purpose you know and you know a lot of times we feel in it a lot of times it has been instilled that our life purpose is our job our career and really and truly it's not it's really just living your fucking life living your life to the truest so that's you going out here and being a vet or if that's you going out here being a nurse or that's you going out here being a boss bitch and being an entrepreneur or a spokesperson or a philanthropist or an activist or whatever the hell it is that you want to do that is your purpose that is your true calling and i have noticed too that i have been surrounding myself more with on uh, social with media wise with more people of a positive light people who are in their truth and seeing people live their truth makes you want to live your truth and it does it's so contagious it's just like damn like she living it up and it's not even if they eating out all lavish and all this kind of shit but when you see people are really living in their truth and they're really happy with what they're doing it will really make you want to look at yourself to self-reflect and to say well what is it that i'm doing to keep me from being in my truth hmm what is it that's keeping me from being truly happy is it my thoughts is it where i am right now is it where i'm living is it the people that i hang out with is it the people i choose to love is it me not paying attention to my spiritual journey because that makes a big difference too if you just start putting your spirit on the back burner <laughs> you gotta remember you, this is this body is temporary you know so y'all i hope y'all really got the gist of my life update because really God has been good and I just cannot complain. I mean, seriously, I cannot complain. I'm not sad. <laughs> I don't have any regrets as to what has happened so far in 2017. Um, I have just really been trying to just be a better me, to just be a better girlfriend, to be a better daughter, to be a better... <laughs> 
a child of God, just to be a better me, you know, overall. And the only way I know to do that is to just really just be true to who I am. And a lot of times you you can forget that because we just get so caught up with just the same day to day bullshit, getting up, going to work, working your job. If you have kids, you know, you got to worry about getting them up, getting them ready for school, getting yourself ready for work, lunch this and that bills yada 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 we get so consumed with the worldly things that we forget about our fucking selves and it's just like you have to remember that you are a part of this world too so you can't forget about yourself love yourself be true to yourself and just know that if you're wanting that dream, that goal, that aspiration, continue striving for it. If something comes to you and it kind of gets you off your rocker, keep pushing. Do not give up because I guarantee you that drive, that determination, that perseverance, I'm telling you, that's what's going to really matter in the end when you get to that final destination or the multiple destinations that God has you destined for because I just feel like we have multiple destinations in our life and i don't feel that we just get to one place to just stay there and to not see where we can go throughout the rest of our life i have always been a person where i feel like you can continuously grow and evolve mentally spiritually and physically and i really have always believed that so queens i really do hope you guys enjoyed my life update if you have any video requests or any recommendations that you might have you know please comment down below and please make sure to follow me over on my other social media platforms they are all listed down below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye queen bye.